All right, guys, so now that we have, or you will have uh, a lot of your, your map built, you would have adjusted some of your lighting and the post-processing to make it a bit more dynamic, change the mood of the scene a little bit more. Um, we can start looking at the textures for the scene and for adjusting the ones for the models. So the models that I gave you, they obviously have these just solid color textures on them, um, which I think is fine for, for this project. And, and, you know, a lot of these low poly games will go for that style throughout. Um, but what I first thing I want to do is I want to make some of these textures that kind of neon glowing kind of effect. OK, so I'm just going to go to the content drawer and dock that. I'm going to find my city models. Uh, and let's use this model as an example here. So the garage. So if I double click that, just zoom out. You can see that with the model, uh, it has all of these materials plugged onto it, right? Okay. So one of them is this sort of bright kind of purpley, pinky, magenta kind of color. Uh, that's the one that I want to make uh, glowing. So I want to replace that material with a glowing material. Okay. So we need to create a new one. So if you look at all these other materials that I have here, uh, what I can do is I can I can make it here. That kind of makes sense. So I'm going to right click and go to material and I'm going to go to call it glow purple. That'll do. And I'm going to double click it. OK, and this is our kind of blank texture space that we can create textures with. If you just wanted to make a another color, right, that you wanted to replace some of the, those other materials colors with, then you just go to base color, drag off of there and type in constant and you want to find constant three vector. Okay, if I double click that and you can, maybe I wanted it to be like a green. There we go, push OK and you have a green texture. Simple as that and then you can uh, apply it on. Um, so one other thing you can do is adjust the, the roughness is quite a good one. So if you go to constant there as well, and if you just have constant on its own, uh, you'll have just this singular value, which is how um, shiny it is essentially. Um, so you can hear, see here it's very, very, very shiny. If we change this value to one, then it's completely like a matte finish. Okay, and you can save that and you could apply that um, texture. OK, um, but we don't want to do that. We want it to have this glowing neon effect. OK, so what I'm going to type in here is multiply. So we're going to multiply uh, the color. So that color will go into A and then B will be a value which will be the kind of glowing value. So I'm going to go for another constant here. And I need to right click this guy and I just need to convert it to a parameter this time. And that parameter I'm going to call glow. Lovely. Okay. So I'm going to plug that into the B, this multiplication. If I select glow, I can adjust the amount that this is going to be glowing. Um, but first of all, I just want to plug that into the emissive color. Emissive being like it's emitting light. OK, so this glow, I'm going to turn that up to uh, the default value to uh, like 10. Now, see in my preview here, that's like glowing and uh, giving off some light now. OK, that's great. Uh, I'll leave it at 10 for now, but um, obviously this is supposed to be glowing purple. So I want to change this to a nice purpley color. OK, great. I'm going to save that now. Materials always take a bit longer to save, so I'm going to close that down and go back to the model itself. And now if I go to this material, which is that standard purple color, I could select that and I can search for glow and there's my glowing purple and apply that and it will change wherever that material is used to my new one. So I'm going to save the model, close that down, lower this and then here we go, you can see it. So if you've used that building like you know 10 times in your map or something, it will apply to every single instance that you've used it. So you won't have to do it uh, again and again. Okay, which is really useful. So now let's say we want to do it for this yellow one over here. 
Um, it's really nice and easy because we can just right click the one that we already have. So this glowing one, right click it, duplicate it, and we can call this one glow yellow. All right. Um, so double click the glow yellow, and then all we need to do, we don't have to do all this setting up again. All we need to do is just change the color to uh, yellow. Great. And then if you want it to be less glowy, Maybe we'll make that like five. Save that. And then we can find the model for this, which is this one here, the shop. And we can adjust that. There's the yellow, easy to find. Change it to glow. And there's my glow yellow. And there we go. Save that. Um, and you can see it there. So also I might think, wow, oh, that glow, that's really bright. That's too bright. So I just need to go back into my yellow. Um, the color I think I needed to be a little bit more orangey. Like that maybe. Uh, oops, sorry, the glow amount. Reduce that to like two. It doesn't need to be that much. Okay, play my game. Okay, and there we go. Okay, um, and you can do that. I think I did it also for um, the blues over here. So I'll quickly do that. So again, duplicate that. We'll call it glow blue. Change the color to a blue. I'll leave the parameter, the amount. Lovely, and then we go to the station, change the blue to glow blue, and change that to glow purple, save that. And there we go, looks great. Close that down again, so we can get a better view. Okay, so we've got those kind of glowy emissive textures going on. Um, and things are starting to look bit more interesting now you can see that's emitting the light that onto the other the models in the area as well which is really nice okay so that's the glowing materials what I also wanted to cover in this section is how you can apply materials to the floor so obviously that's a bit different so what we want to do um, you can well, this is a landscape right so you could technically do what's called landscape painting um, and I do have a video on that separately, but I don't want to do that with this. Uh, we're just going to do the super simple way. But if you did want to do landscape painting, uh, I, I'll link the video in the description so that you could do that instead. But the easy way is if we just click on one of these panels and see how the landscape is broken up into panels. So if we click on, say, this one and over here, we can scroll down and we can see that there's a, a landscape material slot that we could plug something into, right? So I'm going to click that and then we've got all these lovely starter content materials. Some of them are really good for this kind of sci-fi uh, effect. So you do have this M tech hex tile. We apply that one. We'll zoom in on that. And I think that one looks quite good. Um, but I think the one that I used was uh, more like a tiles let me search for tile concrete tiles yeah i think that's the one i used but you can use whichever one you want maybe we'll use the hex ones for this there we go so again you go to the next one search for it so hex again i think i didn't use this one the first time because it was like really very reflective and it was almost too reflective Okay, so I won't do the whole thing, but that'll do. So if I play my game now, you can see now I've got this different floor which I'm walking on. Okay, and things are starting to come together. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's everything for now. Um, when you're ready to move on to the next one, then, yeah, do. <laughs>